Now, science doesn't know everything. So it's one of the glories of science that we know what we don't know, and we work on what we don't know, try to shrink what we don't know. It's hard work. We don't cop out by saying, oh, well, if you come to a difficult problem, magic must have done it, or God must have done it. No, we don't say that. We say, right, that's a problem to be solved. It may not be solved this century. It may be solved in the following century or the one after that. But we don't just lie down and give up and say, oh, well, it must be magic because we don't yet understand it. I would hold up Darwin as a model for the whole of science because before Darwin came along, the whole of life, the complexity of life, the beauty of life, the elegance of life, the apparent design of life looked like magic. And everybody thought it was magic. Everybody thought that God did it. It's so complicated, it's so elegant. Now, that was the really big problem. That's a, that was a far bigger problem than the problem of the origin of life, than the problem of the, cosm of the origin of the cosmos. Darwin solved that problem. All scientists now know that. Darwin solved that problem. And in so doing, he provided us with a sort of parable that don't even think about giving up because if ever there was a time to have given up, it was in the case of biology. Because biology really was a difficult problem, a hard problem. Darwin solved it. Now we have one or two other problems remaining, like the origin of life, like the origin of the cosmos, the origin of the laws of physics. No doubt that there are physicists here who can point to yet other ones. Darwin provides us with a lesson that says, don't give up. Because if Darwin could solve it for the really difficult problem, which was life, then we have every hope that science will solve it for the other problems in the end. And even if it doesn't, even if science doesn't solve all problems ever, that is still no grounds for saying, oh well, magic did it. So where science is filled with doubt, skepticism, willingness to learn, openness to correction, faith is exactly the opposite.